Saturday, November 8, 1982. Dear Dad, you missed a good one today. We learnt fourth position and Miss Harris said Ann Wilson had arms like golf sticks. Do you think that's good? Or not? Tuesday, December 3rd. Dear Dad, we're having a concert so I'm wearing lipstick. And parents are invited. So will you be back in time? Dear Dad, last night I had a dream you came home and took me to see Swan Lake. But at the end, the swan didn't turn into a princess. She just drowned in the lake and never turned into anything. When are you coming home? When are you coming home? Love from your bundle of joy. Love from your bundle of joy. Dear Dad, sorry it's been a while, like 16 years, but you haven't missed all that much. Mum found a man, like she always said. She left two weeks ago. She says she's doing something with her life, unlike me. But she's wrong. I've got plans too. I'm going to find you. Are you lost, my lovely? No, I'm Alice. Morning, Pun Road. No, not steal this bird. I have said this is an office, not a zoo. Otro día con este pájaro, no sé qué mierda quiere este pájaro. Frank, this is Miss Alice Walsh. Miss Walsh? I've come about the job. Uh, Peter's job. Of course. That job is taken. Sorry, it's a bit wrinkled. You have had many positions. Yes. None of them recent. Kevin! Frank? Will you please remove the poultry? Sorry. I see you are a dancer. Sorry? It says here, ballet. Oh, yes. Um, I almost went professional. Uh, oh, I have a question, if that's all right. Yes? If you post something to the wrong place or without an address, uh, Insufficiently addressed. Then it comes here, right? And you try to deliver it? Of course, that is... That is our, our purpose. But what makes you people so good at it? I, I mean, better than someone like me, for example. This depends what the problem is with each item of mail. It may be missing only a street number, a suburb or a stamp. These mysteries are easy to solve. And the more difficult ones? Require a special skill based on years of experience. Right. Oh, God, see, you can't even dress yourself. Thank you for your application, Miss Walsh. Please, I really need this job. I'll work hard, I'll learn fast. I see. We will let you know then. Come in, Victor.
of the unemployed and totally directionless. She's bombed out again. Well, Dad, you know what they say about plans. Maybe Mum was right about me after all. Where'd he go? Who? Ned. This was his room. Not anymore, it's not. You in a hurry? Keep up, that's your problem. <coughs> Another meaningful relationship? If you're lucky, I'll let you sniff his T-shirt. Society, classical. Good. We'll see you tomorrow then. Richmond, right, huh? Mm -hmm. Now, this one's Peran. So, we know that's somewhere in the middle of the ABCs. Hand hovers. We have target. Splashdown. You see the system? I think a pattern is beginning to emerge. So how long's our intensive training period, Peter? When do you go? Four weeks tomorrow. Brisbane GPO. That's soon. Don't worry. We'll soon get you up to speed. Shredder? No. It's a special place for postcards. Looks like it. She's not reading. She's scanning the correspondence. He was insufficiently addressed. Mr. Gruner, Punt Road, Collingwood. You never found Mr. Gruner? Oh, yes. Frank found him. Problem was, he'd been hanging around here for a few days by then. That was your big mistake. Seems to think the dead letter office is home now. Comes back every time. Mr. Gruner's almost given up on him. <laughs> Might help if you didn't feed him. We don't feed him. Now, that's a departmental rule. We provide the minimum level of nutrition for sustaining life, just like the World Health. Well, that sounds like the rule about reading the mail. You don't read the mail, but you scan it. Cut Correct. It. Excuse me, but I don't see the difference. My nephew Victor would have never confused the two. That's because Victor is barely literate. Those letters stay right where they are. I was just looking. Oh, yeah? You're going to deliver them to? 
care of the universe? I could get you sacked for something like that. It's called prurient interest. It's illegal and not very nice. What sort of letters are they? Special cases, you know? To Jesus and dead people and ex-boyfriends. Written by desperados. Ten minutes. Did you know that it's our average time to return one item of mail? Do any of you care? And what is this, Kevin? Hmm? We have discussed this already. Nothing is happening. Well, I was considering the too hard basket. Ah, and you think that is acceptable? That something can disappear without a trace? No. No. We are better than that. Team effort. Everybody. Shoot, boss. A starting. Now. Letter and accompanying parcel to Bill and Linda Turner. No address, no sender. Posted and killed the South local delivery four days ago. First clue. The school. The correspondent refers to the school across the road. We could try the microfish. Get behind me, Satan. <laughs> I'll go direct through. 30 seconds. Which electric is in Kilda? Initials L for Linda or B for Bill. Uh, make that W for William. Good. Peter, the street directory. He wouldn't hurry if his backside was on fire. Bob marries if my bum was on fire. Go. There's W Turner's in Ringwood, Cheltenham and Baronia. Oh, Christ, they're not to middle names. Wait. I don't fancy our chances, boss. One minute, ten seconds. Try Gerster Street in Ringwood. Uh, hello, Con. Uh, Frank here. I have a registration for you. What is wrong with this machine? On Druin Avenue in Cheltenham. One minute, forty seconds. Yes? Yes. Thank you. That is a great help. A Blast Corporation. What was the initial? Try Mulvern. W.G. Turner, 12 Estedler Avenue. Mulvern? Are we in Mulvern now? Here it is. <laughs> The last one, wouldn't you know? <laughs> Kevin! Oh, uh, 98530845. How did you do that? Oh, of course, the plate's on the car. Security's linked to the Red Joe board. Uh, hello? Is that Mrs. Linda Turner? This is Frank Lopez from Metropolitan Post. I believe we have a parcel of yours. White with pink ribbon? Two minutes and 35 seconds. No, not lost. Just delayed. There we go. Good night. See you tomorrow. It was meant for Victor. But a uniform is optional. Thanks, Mary. You coming? Um, I'll just finish up. Night, Alice. Night. Oh, too slow, Kevin. <laughs> You're gonna miss me, mate. No. <laughs> come on, boy, come on. Behave yourself. Look at the state of your jacket.
Excuse me. Excuse me. Yes? I wonder if you could help? I'm a clerk at the Dead Letter Office with Metropolitan Post. We're trying to make an urgent delivery to a Mr. Gerald Urquhart. We believe he was a resident at this address. I've lived here for almost ten years. Haven't you people figured that out yet? Right. Um, yes, we thought that. But we were wondering if you had any information regarding a forwarding address. What department did you say you were with? Okay, thanks. He's good looking, isn't he? Who? My dad, don't you think? Yeah. Is he? And that's his Mustang. Got the Regia? The eggs? See you, kid. Yeah, see ya. Kevin? Kevin? Do you know where Frank is? Storeroom, I think. He asked me to pass on some details to security. Oh, you're in favour. Usually does that sort of work himself. Or is just an address. Uh, but I forgot all about it. Could you tell me the number? Uh, five something. Five. Accounts, canteen. Here we are. Security. 580. Thanks. Night. Hello, security. Oh, dead letter office here. Oh, God, I caught you. We wanted some information. Alice Walsh. I'm new. Mm -hmm. Yes, hi. Uh, we've got another registration number for you. What is your access code, please? Access code? Yes, access code. Oh, that. Um, it's Frank's access code, actually. Whatever that is. Well, you should have given you the code. I can't even make it without the code. Oh, look. Um, don't worry about it. But I'll, I'll just check it with him. Look, N no, um, forget it. I'm afraid it's departmental regulation. We have to have the right code. One department, one code. Let me have a word with Frank. Who yeah, uh, he'll get back to you himself. You sure? Yeah. Bye. Thanks. Dear Mrs, I wish I had been with you before you died, and I wanted to bring flowers to your grave. I remember making jam with you, and picking wattle from the big tree at the bottom of the garden. Do you remember the wattle tree? Sometimes I almost thought I was your little girl. You are the most important person in my whole life. I hope that you will always look after me. And I will always think of you. My dearest Juan, I write to ask you how can you leave me in such darkness? I am like a mad woman who has lost her way, so I walk in a whirlwind where the long nights are like ice.
and I pray for those dreams when you laughed beside me and the dust and the leaves turned and turned again to love T is for... Temple stone? Wrong. T is for trouble. I have never before had a complaint from the public about my staff. What did you say to that woman? I needed information about some mail. We have information here. Directories, listings. An address. I, I was after an address. I saw how hard you tried to get the mail through, and, and I thought... And is that why you called upstairs? They will think I run this office like a circus. I was trying to show initiative. You sought the mail, Alice. That is all. <laughs> Go back to your work. We'll discuss this later. Sorry. What are you on? You've all got our little secrets. Yours? Good night, Frank. Good night, Kevin. See ya. See ya, Alice. Bye, Peter. See you, Kev. Good night, Frank. Good night. Sleep tight. Adios, boss. Thank you. It is so reckless, Alice, to break the rules, don't you see? Down here, we have been safe because I am in charge. But upstairs, they are starting to criticize, to have doubts. I'm sorry if I got you into any trouble. This whole place is in trouble. Is there any way that I can make it up to you? I could work back, I don't mind that. There is no need. I could help you, I can file things. Look at this place, you're snowed under. What about these? Your special case letters, well, what do you do with them? This is what we do. Throw them in a drawer. God, the universe, heaven. I don't think those people expect an answer, do you? But why do you save them if you can't be bothered filing them? In case there is a claim. In case something is more important than we think or as a photograph. Photographs can be irreplaceable. But if you keep them, shouldn't you at least open them? Everyone deserves at least to be considered. If you are so curious, you are welcome to file them. See if it helps. See if it makes any difference to the world.
There's something I did lie about. Ballet. Well, I know I didn't lie exactly. I just exaggerated. You are not a dancer? I wanted to be, but I retired gracefully at the age of nine. I see. Well... I was a dancer, too. Yeah? What kind? Um, folkloric dancing, you know, uh, traditional dances with, um, ah, how is this, a, a, a troupe? Like, Zorba the Greek. Similar, <laughs> only Chilean. I always wanted to be the swan princess with the fluffy tutu, but I never got that far. I was a waso, a cowboy. You? Oh, yes, that was my costume. With a red vest and um, wide black hat, boots above my knees. Beats a tutu. Yeah. We would dance for hours at fiestas up in the mountains. Those mountains? Yes. Those mountains. Can you remember any of the steps of your cowboy dance? Oh, well, I have not danced for years, Alice. Me neither. All I can remember is... Jose Coupe, Jose Coupe, Jose Coupe. A bit hard on the floor. And in boots, too. Your turn, go on. No, no. Go on, try. No one's looking. It's been too long. Just a couple of steps. You must remember something. No. Come on. I said no. I'm sorry. Not much of a homing pigeon if you have to drive him home. Every night to Mr. Grunis, and tomorrow he will fly back here again. Why don't you just keep him, take him home with you? Me? <laughs> I would not want to take responsibility. Seems to me you already have. When did you leave Chile, Frank? Twelve years ago. Do you have any family there, children? I left. They stayed. Do you ever go back and see them? No. That would be impossible.
No. No. Bueno, bueno, no. Dear Dad, the thing that bothers me most of all, it's not where I live or my job or even Mum leaving. It's that I can't remember what you look like. So if I could just find you again, if I just saw your face, then maybe everything else would be okay too. Love, as always, your bundle of joy. Go back home where you belong. Hmm? Go! Maybe we're getting new chairs. Oh, yes. And maybe I'm the Queen of England. Don't mention this to Frank, huh? de velas, aunque sea por los niños, podría rezar por lo menos. Lo hice por años, pero nada puede cambiar. Cuando veo la luz de estas velas, me imagino que cada una tiene un aliento diferente. El de mi madre, el de mi hermano y el de mi hijo. 
Eso es lo que yo me imagino. Biologist did experiments with pigeons. He homed them to a sort of mobile home, you know, one of those big American caravans. Then, without letting on to the pigeons, while they were still flapping around somewhere, guess what that clever biologist did then, eh? He shifted that home hundreds of miles across the desert. For you, special case. Oh, jeez. Another desperado. Guess what? Those birds still flew home. It's like a, it's like a sixth sense. They could, they could feel that mobile home all the way from Texas. <laughs> now, what does that tell us about our own punt road, eh? Hmm? He's in the wrong country. He thinks we're a mobile home. It means that home's not just a map reference. That's right. That's right. Home is where he feels he belongs. <laughs> I didn't finish filing the other night. Could I stay back again? Well, there, there is no overtime for that. I don't mind. If you like. Hurry up, boys. I'll be eating the furniture if I'm not there soon. Uh, I didn't finish that filing, boss. Oh, it's no matter. Alice will do it. Alice has gone home, Frank. You should, too. I, I was afraid you, say you must have gone. Here, show me. Are you burnt? No, I think it's okay. Oh, you can't get a good cappuccino around here anyway. I had to walk miles. And the woman was so.
Do you like samosas? Oh, only if you were staying. Oh, yes. Yes, I have plenty to do. Good. Let's, let's eat then. this to you? Can I scan it aloud? If it is the process of handling the mail, if you can't help but speak the words aloud, I can't help but hear, no? She talks about this man, Juan, and how much she misses him, how she's so unhappy she's like a mad woman. She dreams about him coming back. And then this bit. So if this is life, this endless journey into myself, then how sweet to close my eyes forever. Well? As you say, she is unhappy. Unhappy? She's suicidal. Don't you think we should worry? She might be about to throw herself off a bridge or gas herself. It is late. Are you nearly finished? This one's hard. Only a pen name, but there's a photograph and it. it has a proper address. This wide world? It's to a real person, there's a name. And there, there must be lots of other clues in, in all of these letters, all sorts of information. No, Alice, I have said there is no point. But I'm filing them. What, what about your bit? You, you, somebody's got to follow them up. No. Why don't you like these letters? Because they're futile. Nostalgic. Recalling people from the grave, praying for the perfect lover. These people want a world which is gone. They don't want to see the reality around them, so they close their eyes and they fabricate another reality to survive. What's wrong with that? There is a name for this in Chile. Submarino. You know, like a submarine? Under the water. Under the surface of everything. This is not happiness. It is not suffering, either. It is nothing. These letters are about defeat. They are dead letters. And you finish filing them. Alice? Alice? Alice! I took the pigeon home, as you said, but um, he didn't want to stay. I don't blame him.
Trying to be macho? Does it put you off? Dear baby Jesus, thank you for all the nice days you gave us last week. When I was in church at Christmas, I really wanted to talk to you, to touch you. I want you to know that I tell you everything that happens to me. You would keep her safe. You are the most important person. But wherever she is, I know we will all be together. I remember making jam with you and picking waffle from the big Please tree. help me to find a job you and let our one little dream come true. The times we had together. My thoughts have never left you. Wherever you are now in this universe, Get me. So if I could just find you again, if I just saw your face, then maybe everything else would be okay too. I am like a mad woman who has lost her way, so I walk in a whirlwind where the long nights are like ice. How oh, it's sweet to close my eyes. How oh, it's sweet to close my eyes forever. Hello. Carmen Donoso? I'm ringing to talk about Juan. No, you, you don't know me. Carmen? You are Alice? <laughs> you don't look like I thought you would. What happened with Juan? I've had my fingers crossed for you. He will not be coming back. I wrote letters like yours, too. To a lover. To someone you lost. Yeah. Kind of. Life will always stop you. People will stop you from having what you want. But nobody can stop you from yearning.
upon Rhodes disappeared. Good. Maybe he's had an accident. Maybe he's pigeon pie. Kevin, I'm sure the bird is safe. Peter, would you ask Alice to double check these details? Could you ask Mr. Lopez how urgent it is? Just when she has time, Peter. You got that? Thank you. Real tea from a pot. You have made your peace with Frank? I'm still here. It's hard to imagine what he has come from. Chile is a country where terrible things happened. What happened to Frank? I don't know exactly. These are not things to gossip about. But be careful how you treat him. Me? Alice, I know you mean well, but you could never hope to understand such a man. Never. I'm reading. Has anything terrible happened to you? You mean recently? I mean in your life. Yeah. I lent Ned 50 bucks and I think he's pissed off with it. Wrong answer. Ask me the question again. Why did you come to Australia, Frank? <laughs> um, I flipped the coin. Australia or Canada? Australia won. Did you have friends here? Of course I have friends. I have 
worked in almost every department here. None. I mean, people from back home. Uh, a few, yes. I see them from time to time. <clears throat> Next week, there is a dance. You said you gave up. Well, the, the next one is for independence. It's more a celebration with a big band. I thought perhaps, uh, perhaps I would go. And dance? I think so. And can anyone go? Could I go? You, Alice? Isn't he your boss? How would you say he was? I don't know exactly. Well, older than you. <laughs> and it'll be that poncho music. And you can't dance to that. You'd look silly. I think you could find someone his own age. These are my friends, Lucia and Vicente. Hi. I'm stoked about you. <laughs> Hello, Ali. Hi. Come. Let's have a drink and then we dance. Is this the new chica in the oficina? Hmm. Maybe it's the moment. A new life, a new woman. What do you think, companion? I'm going to teach you to salsa. It's very easy. It's like walking. Yes, ready? And back. And back. And this way. And back. This way. It's good. That's it. Now relax. Let my hands guide you. Whoa! That shit. Sorry. No, it's, it's all right. You're learning. It's good. Back to three. This way. Back to three. This way. Very good. Yes. This way. Good. Now, you must also smile at the same time. <laughs> oh, no. It's all right. You are learning. And back to three. Oh. See? You can do it. You are improving. Mm -hmm. I can almost feel my toes again. Oh. <laughs> the next song will be slow. I know. Good. Alice? Carmen! 
<laughs> Sorry, I'm late. I was so lost. I drove around and around. Oh, Frank, this is Carmen, a friend of mine. Good evening. De qué parte de Argentina viene usted? Buenos Aires. Hace muchos años. Es una ciudad muy bonita. Sí, verdad. ¿Cómo conoces a Alex? Ella me encontró a mí. Creo que soy su proyecto especial. ¿Cómo? A veces escribo cosas. Simplemente para levantar mi alarma cuando las cosas andan mal, ¿sabes? Sí. Ya sé. Ella tuvo que haber encontrado mi carta. Mi padre trabajó para los militares, así que cuando la junta estaba por caer, nos tuvimos que ir. Habrá sido difícil para ti, ¿verdad? Sus negocios prosperaron en Europa y la vida fue casi tan buena como en Argentina. Sin duda mejor que para los que se quedaron. Es tan triste que la mayoría de Sudamérica sea alérgica al trabajo. ¿Crees que eso es el problema? Que los latinos son tan vagos. Por lo menos los militares en Argentina lograron que los colectivos fueran puntuales. Con permiso, señora. to interfere. I thought she was in trouble. Who are you to dabble with that woman's life? And me? What are you trying to do? Play God? Hmm? I wanted to help. Help her? In Argentina, her father worked with the Junta. You think she needs help? Look at you. What do you know? You know nothing. You think you can fix up other people? Hmm? You were alone? Yes, she I am alone because of people like her. It was the army that took everything away. You must be so careful what you do and what you say and what you think. Because they will find out, and they will break you. They will take the people you love from you, because that is the way to make you suffer in unspeakable ways. My children, my only children, when they fired into the car, I could hear the guns one block from my house. Nobody saw anything, of course. Rosa was wounded, but the children, they bled to death. Pablito from his head and Julia from her heart. And then there was nothing. And Rosa and I had no more words for each other. That is my life. I didn't know. No, you don't know because you're a stupid girl. You see, you see, my children are dead and I have walked on the same streets as their murderers. These are the real things. Not your stupid letters.
No, this is her housemate. She's not feeling very well this morning. I'm not sure. Maybe it's something gastric. You pick up a couple of items. It says here numbers 73 and 77. 73, 77, 71, 71, 72, 72, 77. That's one of them. 76, 76, 75, 75, 74, 78. 78. 73, that's the other one. Okay. This is my chair. Just doing my job. Frank? You can check it, it's all there. Take them. Why don't they just take the mail too, eh? You should not joke. Oh, it's gone beyond a joke. What are we going to do? Frank? I have no more answers. I thought... I thought I might not see you again. I came to quit. You could have telephoned. I know. The trouble is, I couldn't think of anywhere else I'd rather be. Then you are in a sad way. Thanks two of us. Frank, do you remember that pink letter that you tried to deliver? One of your special cases with the photograph? Yes, the car, yes. I remember that car. It was a blue Mustang with black seats and it smelled like my dad's leather jacket. You? I'm Bundle of Joy. But why did you write? This is where my letters always came. The the ones I wrote when I was a kid. I thought I was writing to my dad and all the time the postal system was sending them back. With the dead letter office stamped on every one of them. So, I thought it was like destiny that I came here and I got the job and I met you. And that you were the one who was going to fix up my life. Alice. Well, you've got to admit it was a pretty crazy plan. I failed you. No, you tried. But those plates, the registration plates on your father's car, they were destroyed ten years ago. for a Gerald Hartwell. Sure, I'll get him. Gerald! Gerald! Customer! Why don't you ever check the mail? I think I've done enough of that for a lifetime. Dearest daughter, how did it happen? How did we lose each other? 
Let me tell you about those first minutes I held you in my arms. It was so many years ago, but it was true. It did happen. You were perfect and helpless and such a mystery to me. I took you away, a bundle in pink rabbits and pins and plastic tags, and I bathed you. Floating in that warm water, your strong little body wailing at the world. I held you badly, even then. No need to cry. In my arms, you're safe, baby girl. In my arms, you will be safe forever. Sack me? I don't read the friggin' things, I just look at the pictures. Oh, the prodigal daughter returns, eh? Thought you quit. What's going on? The dead letter office is relocating. Frank's been kicked upstairs with the suits. But if I know him, he'll quit. It will be more efficient. It will have new furniture, windows with views. It will have computers. It'll have everything but us. How can they do this to me? How can they possibly imagine a woman with shoes like this can ride a bicycle? It's terrible. Frank! You found him, didn't you? He must have. He wrote back. If you know where he is, you have to tell me. It would be a breach of confidence. You do know. Frank, it's my father. Please. Here. He changed his name. Yes, that was the problem. Thank you. Alice. Perdón. Muchas gracias. Frank, in charge of what? Let him go. Brisbane, here I come.
morning. Jerry's the name. How are you? What are we looking for? Two berth, four berth, caravan, camper van, camper wagon. I'm, I'm not sure. You're hitting the road or you're dropping anchor somewhere? Uh, it depends, sir. Uh, my plans are a bit up in the air right now. Well, uh, why don't we start over here then, hey? Now, this is our budget line here. We've got the Midi Phoenix with the Unimatic security door. She's got eight ply truck tires, aluminium frame, insulated walls, yeah, uh, tinted windows. Make a nice little granny flat, that one. You've got the whole range there. Options, floor plans. Should be something there for you. You uh, give me a name and I'll put you on our mail out. Alice Walsh? Walsh, W A L. Yes. But my father's name was Urquhart. Alice Urquhart. Gee. <coughs> Why didn't you say so? Look at you. How are you then? How are you doing at school? I've left. Oh, of course. Yeah. I married again after your mother. Perth, and uh, I've got a couple of boys there. Uh, I see them quite a bit. But uh, Jill remarried, uh, so they're all set up. I, I sort of got squeezed out of the picture. Or in my life. I'm um, sorry that I uh, didn't write or keep in touch. Uh, well, at times I, I thought about it and... It doesn't matter. Look, um... Look... Don't buy this caravan. The suspension's stuffed. I just wanted to see your face. I've changed a bit, I'm afraid. It's okay. It's all for me. Should have packed lunch. Come in. So where's he gone now? Who knows? Maybe Texas. I met my father. He tried to flog me a Phoenix pop top. He sells caravans. Yes, I know. Will you see him again? Uh, probably. I, he wanted to. I said I would sometime. 
Good. You wrote that letter, didn't you? I think I knew, even before I met him, that a letter like that was impossible. Alice, I'm so sorry. No, it was perfect. It doesn't matter anymore. So, what are you doing now you're a man of leisure? What are your plans? Um, I thought I might travel. Travel? Mm. Heads, the mountains, tails, the sea. Dear Mum, after you left, I found a job, but then I lost it again. Same old story, huh? Only this time, I met a man who taught me how to salsa. Anyway, I've been thinking, well, about a lot of things, like traveling and maybe going back to uni for a while. Oh, and I'm learning Spanish. Buena suerte, mama. That means good luck. 